Paul, you've just recently bought this new VTL from Lead Precision Machine Tools. It's a Leadwell VTL 450. Why is it here? We have actually bought it for a specific part, which is this one on the machine now. Is it a volume component that you're manufacturing? Yes, we require so many of these per week, week in, week out, day and night. We run 24 hours here, so it's going to be running non-stop. Now, now, it's a common question, why a vertical lathe rather than a horizontal? There are some very obvious reasons, but can you tell us why you opted for this as a machine solution? Uh, the way it's mounted, really, with the jig being heavy, it's more suited to vertical. Uh, the swarf removal can go straight through the part and come out, as you can see. Uh, and the footprint, really, as well. The footprint of the machine is quite small. We're quite a busy shop now. And, uh, and, and what about the cycle time as well? Has that been reduced on this part? Because it's actually kind of like the rapids or the positions of the tools can get to the chuck face quicker. Well, yeah, this was quite a hard material, so we've got to do it on a quite a big machine, really, to get the power ratio. But with this being a good power ratio as well, uh, and a short machine, the rapid away is a lot shorter and stuff like that, so we managed to reduce the cycle time just in pure minutes, really, just by pure rapid time. OK, now I'm, I'm interested in one of the points you made then about the hard material. Was that a factor? I mean, are you doing intermittent cutting here on this? Yeah, well, if you see this lug on the outside, it's intermittent and it's uh, 45 Rockwell, this material, so it, it takes quite a lot of power to get through it. Uh, and like I say, the power ratio on this machine, for such a small machine, was very good, actually. So. And, and you've got Leadwell machines already, so when you, when you bought this, your expectation, I suppose, was to mirror what you've got, rigid, high performance, all of those characteristics? Yes, and the control as well, all the controls are the same, so it, it, and we've had a lot of success with Leadwell in the past on different types of machines, so we went for the same thing. Uh, the other thing with the vertical lathe as well, and I'm not sure whether you did touch on it a minute ago, what about loading? This Because this is on a fixture here, so yeah. it, it seems much easier to load it like this than to load it on a horizontal. Yeah, well on a horizontal, you know, you've always got to sort of hold the weight at one time while you sort of push it onto the fixture. With this, it's all downwards, so it's straight in and over. You can get your body over it straight on the, straight on the jig. And when, it, and when it comes to making one of these parts, I talked about the cycle time re reduction. Have you seen a significant improvement in how you're producing these since you've had this machine? Uh, yes, yeah, we've seen it uh, easier for the operators, which and obviously reduces a couple of minutes in cycle time in the rapid, a couple of minutes here, there and everywhere. It really, really has a dramatic effect, really. If you get another two or three components done per day. Which, which makes a big difference. How long has it been here? Uh, we've had it about three or four weeks now, that's all, so it's relatively new and we're quite pleased with it so far. OK, because the footprint is important as well. I noticed in the machine shop today, you've got a lot of machines, you've got a lot of castings, you've got a lot of production going through. It's nice to have something making a part like this in a small area. Yeah, well, it's, you can just squeeze it in next to two other machines, which also operators can run two machine, three other machines if they want to as well. So, and, and who knows, if you make these fast enough and well enough, like you are, you might need another one as well. <laughs> oh, that would be up to the managing director, but yeah, we are... He likes his Leadwell machines, so as you say, we've got quite a few of them.